Minecraft is a game all about cubes. In fact, there's not a single shape in the game that isn't made of cubes and cuboids. So when you're asked to make something circular, whether that be a sphere for your base, a hemisphere for a roof, or a cone for the spire on top of a palace, it can be daunting and feel well out of your comfort zone. So today, I'm going to help you with that and teach you how to make circular designs in Minecraft, and then use them to create cones, spheres, cylinders, and hemispheres, among loads of other designs. So let's get right into it. Now to make a circle in Minecraft, I would highly, highly, highly recommend using some kind of image editing software such as Photoshop or Illustrator or even use some kind of website online and basically just create a pixelated circle on your canvas and replicate that in Minecraft, making sure one pixel is equal to one block. Simply make the canvas size however large you want your circle to be in Minecraft. Make sure about one pixel is one block in the game. And then just use an ellipse tool to create a circle like the one shown on the screen. Now before I get on to the cones and uh, uh, spheres and the hemispheres, I'm going to very, very quickly get cylinders out of the way because they're probably the easiest of the lot. Now, all you need to do, uh, I'm actually going to use world edit for this, but you can easily replicate this in survival mode. Uh, all you need to do is stack each one on top of the other. So it's best to find the center and you can use the copy command and then slash slash stack uh, by about 10 just to create a tower that's 10 blocks tall, a, a cylinder, but uh, it, you can easily just build it up in survive mode. Once you've got the circle it's incredibly easy to make these cylinders. So now we've made the arch in game. So. As you can see, we've got the circle on the floor, which we just copied from the program or uh, software or online website, whatever you used to find the design. And then you just flip it over to make the arch. So if this was a sphere, this would go all the way around and you may even want to do it the same way. But what you need to do now is ignore this side, split it into a quarter. So start down here, make sure they are both at the right height like so and basically just repeat the arch as a wireframe and just split it into a single quarter like so and then this side here you actually don't need it for now although you might want it uh, later on depending on whether you're replicating it in survival mode or not and then you just fill it in organically like so. So make sure it's a rounded off shallow gradient like so. It's just a curve basically. You don't want anything too special. And while you can't get perfect curves in Minecraft of course, just basically use trial and error, use your common sense and make something that looks close enough to a circle. It really doesn't matter how accurate it is, so long as it looks decent. And then just replicate it on either side until you have a nice finished design. And I'll be right back with you once I have a design myself. So now we just have one quarter, and I actually made it into a quarter for a very specific reason. To begin with, if you're just copying it in survival mode, then it's just incredibly, incredibly easy to copy it around each side. You don't just have to fill the whole thing in organically, you can simply just take a screenshot or something and just replicate that around it. And even better, if you have access to world edit, you could just use the slash slash uh, sphere command. Or if you've already built this, uh, which is easier if you're making a hemisphere and not a full sphere, find the each corner of it so it's in a box and then go down to the exact center and then do slash slash copy and slash slash rotate uh, about 90 degrees and then slash slash paste then do that again and one more time and as you can see we've made a full sphere 
and if you look at it, it is a full sphere, as you can see. There's not really much to it other than that, so it may seem quite daunting to make a sphere at first, because, I mean, Minecraft's a square-based game, a cubes and squares and rectangles, not circles and spheres, so this is, may seem daunting at first, but in actual fact it's actually quite easy to follow if you're willing to use software such as Photoshop or any other image editing software that allows you to come up with grids and draw ellipse shapes, or alternatively any kind of website. I'll try and link a few in the description if I can find some, and I'll make sure they're completely safe as well. Anyway, let's move on to the uh, the cones now. Now, cones are actually a pretty common and really fun design for roofs, and I'm going to show you exactly how to make them. Now, to begin with, you just start off with a circle as normal, and once again, you can use exactly the same technique as that. But instead of copying it for the wireframing as well, simply just go up by an even amount each time. Now, I like to go up by four, then four again, four again, then four again, but if you want to go for a simple uh, sort of uh, getting pointier, uh, or just a sharper gradient curving into a slightly sharper line, then you can start going from four to five, and then to six, and depending on how you want to go, you can go to seven, eight, nine, etc. But as you can see, once again, we've just got a quarter of the shape. Now, from the from the bottom, you probably have some pretty short lines, and you can just fill these in organically, like so, making sure they're quite curved. Now, we'll make them pointier as we go along, but the ones nearer to the bottom should really be curved rather than uh, pointy, just to begin with. So as you can see here, these ones go curved, and then near the top they get a tiny bit pointier, a tiny bit longer. But all you need to do really is fill this in organically, just like we did with that one, and then repeat it with the quarters. It's really not that hard at all. And once you've done one quarter, it really should go really, really quickly. Now, if you are doing like a massive 100 block radius sphere, the main thing is just time. And once you've got one quarter done, it really shouldn't feel too hard, just possibly quite painstaking. And if you are going for a project like that, I wish you the best of luck because they are really tough to make uh, time-wise. But as you can see, once you get the hang of it, it is just very simple. Just to fill it in organically and go up, making them slightly sharper the higher you go. And there we have it, we have just one quarter filled out quite organically, it's not too difficult to do. And I'll just show you one last time exactly how to rotate it around into one full cylinder using World Edit. And in survival mode, unfortunately, unless you don't mind using something like Schematica to uh, show you the exact layout, you will have to just take screenshots and uh, build it by hand but if you have access to world edit you can just find the center like so do slash slash copy slash slash rotate 90 degrees and that will rotate the whole clipboard by 90 degrees then slash slash paste and then you've pasted basically half of it in now and then you could do uh, rotate it once more uh, so then it will have rotated to here, then you do slash slash paste again, and then repeat that one more time. And then there we have it, one full cylinder like so. And, no sorry, one full cone like so. And there we have it, one cylinder and one cone, easy to put in any kind of build. and. As you can see, I've done that exact same style across multiple different cones, even going down to a a cone with a, a radius of about two. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, it's not actually too hard 
when you put your mind to it, it's actually quite a simple uh, task. The only issue really is uh, time and it's just quite a monotonous, uh, repetitive process. But once you've got the basics handled, it's not too difficult to repeat. Now, if you're going for the extra mile, you can use slabs and stairs just to smooth out that extra bit. And it just makes it look even more organic, even more smooth, and really adds uh, quite that bit extra to your build. But other than that, that's exactly how to build cones and cylinders in Minecraft. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please, as usual, leave any suggestions down below. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.